Let's start off the show by putting the spotlight then on Young Tinker. Would you believe that it actually started off with just three children and students and now the students went on to build a rover for NASA? That's right. It's an educational foundation. It's a not-for-profit organization that has a vision to build an equitable world through education and skills of the future. Let's take a look as to what exactly Young Tinker does. Robos, traffic lights, and a rover for simulated Mars and lunar missions for the upcoming NASA Rover Challenge. All of these were created inside this Young Tinker Academy based in the remotest parts of Odisha. And putting these maverick pieces together are these young innovators, some from underprivileged and poor backgrounds, lacking support and financial means. Mentoring them all is the 26-year-old Anil Pradhan who's waging a war against conventional forms of education. At the heart of the idea to set up the Young Tinker Academy was to push students away from rote learning and nudge them towards skill development, especially subjects like physics, 3D printing, robotics, maths and electronics, which have practical applications. The goal is to make students problem solvers and innovators and perhaps later entrepreneurs. At present, there are at least 12 entrepreneurs at the Young Tinker Academy. So how does the education system at the academy work? Kids are given these tinkering stations at the academy where they can fiddle and tinker with gadgets, TVs, circuit boards and more. These tinkering stations are meant to build their curiosity and problem-solving skills. Scrap material and spare parts, for instance, are used at times to build useful things like heart and brain structures, humanoids, robots, 3D printers and even clocks. I came all the way especially for this Young Tinker Academy because I heard about it and I was really excited. It gave me a whole vast new introduction to how to actually use tools, how to see things from a different perspective and how did I do that? I learned so many skills here that I haven't even learned in the classroom. Curriculum isn't vernacular languages for easy understanding. Now what started under a tin shade with three students is now a full-fledged academy, skilling over 1.5 lakh students in over 45 schools of Odisha and Hyderabad. And coming April, they're all set to represent India at the NASA Engineering Design Challenge in the under-19 category. Even Intel has recognized their efforts. One of the students created a $1 AI-based solution to fend off locust attacks. Young Tinker Academy has plans to reach for the stars, but for now, the focus remains on making India proud at NASA. Well, what started off in a tin shade with three students is now a full-fledged academy that's skilling over 1.5 lakh students over 45 schools in Odisha and Hyderabad. I'm talking about the Young Tinker Academy. They're not just doing that, but they're also building a rover for NASA at the Human Exploration Rover Challenge 2023. Joining me right now is Anil Pradhan, who's the founder at Young Tinker. Thank you so much, Anil. And you must be so proud of all of the amazing work that the students have been doing. I just want to understand a little bit more about this. Uh, what was the heart of the idea of even setting this up? Because back when it started, it was a meager three students. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, it started way back in 2015 and uh, at that point of time, I never knew like a uh, change like this will happen. I, I knew that something good will happen, but uh, uh, my students will reach uh, this far uh, was unbelievable. And uh, and this is the power of uh, uh, thinking unthinkable and doing unthinkable. Uh, so we always uh, uh, thought of doing something unthinkable and uh, this was the next unthinkable thing to do. Uh, what started from an island village in Odisha is now spreading all across. And I'm super happy, super proud uh, of my students uh, uh, doing this. Uh, and uh, thank you. 
Yeah, no, of course, you have every right to be. So let's understand about this very exciting news with respect to NASA. I understand that come April, the students are set to represent India at NASA for the Engineering Design Challenge in the Under-19 category. Can you share more details? How did, you know, all of this innovation come about? How did they apply? What was the process like? Yeah, so, so, so what happened is uh, we select... Uh, uh, students uh, to be a part of this challenge and then they send a proposal to the NASA and uh, this time we selected th six students uh, and students from all acro across uh, India actually participate in this where we already have our tinker spaces uh, so I, I would like to uh, tell three biggest inspirations in this uh, uh, six member team uh, two of the students are actually foster kids uh, uh, and they were a part of this uh, uh, and one guy is uh, his, his father is a farmer. Uh, he aspired to become an astronaut, and he applied for this program. He got selected, and he's going NASA, and he's creating this human-powered rover. So these guys are not just designing a rover, but actually building this and taking this to NASA. And they would be competing with uh, 61 teams from all across the world in this Human Exploration Rover Challenge 23 in April. And uh, they they have already built it. Now they are shipping it and. Uh, and you will be seeing them soon there in NASA in, uh, in, in the month of April. You know, it's just so fascinating and so commendable, Anil, because it seems like there is so much potential out there and you're just helping tap that, you know, and giving these young children with such bright minds all of this opportunity. Um, I also understand that Intel has recognized the efforts and that one of the students created a $1 AI-based solution to fend off um, locust attacks. Yeah, uh, so this is uh, one of the inspirational story that you can see, like uh, there's a guy who actually uh, saw locust attack as one of the biggest uh, problem uh, that was going on in his community and he saw a few of the suicides going on and uh, uh, being a student uh, uh, and 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 uh, being a design thinking pr practitioner uh, he thought of like how can i build a solution how can a 12th grader do this thing and he built this uh, solution and been invited by the ceo in intel uh, 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 pat gelsinger to uh, and 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 he got funded by intel for this ai product uh, so these are the kind of uh, uh, inspirational uh, stories that are now coming from Indian villages and these students are the hope that Indian villages will flourish if ideas like this will come into reality and it's not just a dream now it's dream come true uh, students are doing and it's happening thanks to people like you so i just want to uh, understand you know because it's important to learn or you know uh, garner from you a little more perspective as to how these children really get these skills because they come um with no prior learning in all of this and i understand that they're given these tinkering stations in the academy they can fiddle and tinker with gadgets tvs coolers circuits so that must be really helping develop and open their minds yeah so what we basically do is we aid schools with the stinker spaces, schools and communities. So the schools out there, they can actually have the space there. And uh, uh, through these spaces, they learn those hard skills uh, on, of tinkering. For example, they learn a lot of electronic stuff, soldering, how to solder it, uh, how to work on hand tools, uh, how to learn 3D printing, how to do 3D printing, uh, how to do CAD, and learn n number of uh, skills out there, which is which we call it as the 21st century skills. Once they learn these skills, they actually learn how to tinker. After this tinkering phase, they they move on a phase where they make something and they become a maker. And in the third phase, they become innovator, where they find out solutions of the problems. And eventually, when they find out the solutions, they want to take it to the masses and they become an entrepreneur. So the story we were uh, talking about was a story of an entrepreneur. So our job is to make sure we take a tinkering to each and every student here in India and then make sure few of them become entrepreneurs. Even if few of the students, they don't become entrepreneurs, they are good tinkerers. They would be the best employees in any company they work. Okay, and the curriculum as well is in vernacular languages. How does the academy really work? For instance, assume that there is a child who has come from say a broken home or an underprivileged background, um, how do they enroll? 
so thing is we we strongly believe that a student who is there in an urban area and rural area i, I we strongly believe there is no uh, no big differences be between them but the only difference is the platform and that is what we want to create three things are important content intent and environment content is the content that we provide environment is the tinker space that we develop and intent is what we want to create so we do it by going to school making sure they have the right intent right mindset and once that is done that will drive them and all these things are simplified and presented in a way that every student irrespective of their background learns everything so this entire thing happen uh, and 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 i strongly believed when we started like if this can happen in a school in us this can happen in a in a school in china or japan why not in india and why not in odisha we started with my own village which is in a island village and 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 now you can see young tinker from that one village is now going all the way to india and to us now wait so currently just to understand that this is uh, the schools are present in odisha and hyderabad are you looking to expand further across the country yes we are we we are trying to expand throughout the country and now we're also getting a, a lot of approach from the schools in us uh, where uh, where we saw a wave of students coming way from us to india to our census centers to learn and now they want this to be there in their school as well finally then anil just to understand from you because you were talking about if we can actually see if people are given the opportunity the right opportunity villages can flourish so how are you looking at really empowering more of the youth and really changing the indian landscape and giving the youth more opportunity to flourish and make and realize their dreams yes so so one thing is that we are setting the stinker spaces in schools uh, but apart from that uh, the most important thing that we need to learn here is The, all the manufacturing that is done all the tinker spaces that we manufacture all the kits that we manufacture we manufacture this in a village and and i'm proud to say that we have imported a lot of women in manufacturing so these women uh, who are uh, just like 10 pass or 12 pass are a part of manufacturing unit in our village and these spaces these uh, kits that we are manufacturing is done there and they are going uh, everywhere now and 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 just one thing is uh, one thing that i want to focus here is zid karo aur duniya badlo if that zid is there if that mindset is there anything is uh, surely uh, our youths will flourish and and do great anil just so uh, amazing the kind of work you do really kudos before i let you go i just want to ask is there any way that people who are watching this uh, can reach out or help or contribute in any way yes so uh, uh, our our foundation is young tinker Okay. uh it's not tinker it's tinker young tinker dot uh, org so you can always contribute there and if you want to have these kind of spaces uh, around uh, yourself uh, you you can approach us and we'll be we'll, we'll love to have this in your school in your village in your city in your town anywhere everywhere thank you so much all right we'll do thanks so much for joining us on startup central good to have you and really kudos to all the amazing work that you do and uh, can't wait for the nasa trip i'm sure your children are super excited i'm also super excited thank you so much thank you